How's it going, everybody? So sorry, the video's kind of dark. The sun's peeking in the window. So I mess with the lighting right now, but it's about as best as it's gonna get. So you wanna tell what's going on? Um. Well, she's I went and seen the doctor today. Oh, first we were telling how far along we are, I guess. Uh, she's 37 weeks today. Um, but anyways, she went to the doctor and they said that she's got to go down to Lincoln. Was it this Thursday or next Sounds like this Thursday, but I'll confirm it tomorrow. But the way it sounds so like. So it's, it's one of these Thursdays, either this week or next week. But it sounds like to this Thursday, so. so. Uh, and she had a heart murmur. And they yeah. said that my heart is dilated. What does that mean? Like when you get your eyes dilated. Oh, alright. Yeah, my heart's dilated. Sorry, I just got out of school and ran around. We were out running around Aaron for about like two hours. It's like school and running around. As soon as I get done with this video, I'm back to doing school work. <laughs> so, um, trying to get it all done before this Thursday. I got like three, three projects I got to get done. Yeah. Yep, I'm going to go in to Lincoln and see a OBGYN and talk to him and see what he was wanting to do, see what the game plan is, and see if I'm going to be delivering that day or if I'm going to be coming, excuse me, coming home for another week and then going back or what. The way it sounds like the cars keep me and have me. Get induced, so. Yeah, hopefully everything is good and we can wait at least a couple more weeks. But uh, we'll, we'll find out uh, when she goes and sees the doctor. Yeah, because they said that the small hospitals don't have, don't have the right equipment to take care of me and the baby, so. so uh, it's in Lincoln, Nebraska, where you going? Yeah, so Lincoln, Nebraska, what's the name of the hospital? Um, they don't know what hospital I'm going to. What is it, like Brian? Well, that's where I'm going to get checked up at, but they don't know if I'm going to stay there or if I'm going to be migrating. So right now we're kind of just, you know, she's okay. going to get checked out at this Brian uh, hospital. Brian is probably Brian LGH. In, uh, Brian like, East. Oh yeah. Is it Brian LGH or Brian East? Brian East. Okay, Brian East. The facts are kind of hazy. We don't know where to go for sure. All we know is we're going for a checkup and then. Yeah, and we don't know what's supposed to go on after that. That's why, it's good. Yeah, that's why you call it a checkup. You don't know what happens until, until you get there. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know if I'm staying there, if I'm being transferred to another hospital, or what. And we don't know if the baby's going to be with mommy, or if mommy's going to separate the baby, or what happens. So, what was the exact, or did they have an exact issue of what was wrong with your heart? They said that my heart has a heart murmur, and then basically it's dilated. And my the doctor said is my heart. There's like three parts of your heart. You have the pumping, the electrical part, and then the drainage part. The draining part is fine. Like my heart's draining, it's supposed to be doing. But my heart's not hey, pumping. Hey, Enjoy and your munchy bone. <laughs> But my heart had problems pumping correctly. And then, since I'm pregnant, my heart muscles have been stretched. So when you stretch the electrical part of your heart, it's just like having a shore in your house. So I guess that explains why you passed out the other day. He said you pass out, you can, you can have a heart attack. And that's why he said no driving right now. And I have to go to the big hospitals. And right now they don't know if they're going to do a trial labor, labor run with me or if they're going to just go straight on and do a C-section. Well, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to at least to wait at least two minutes before they have to induce you for the C-section. But knowing the way but, they're talking, I don't think they're waiting. Yeah, it doesn't sound like they're going to wait. Uh, 
Well, their main reason is they don't want me to naturally go into labor here at home because it's like a three, four hour drive and they really don't have to have an ambulance race me and have me deliver on the road. They'd rather have me just be there and be induced and ready to go. Say for mommy and baby. So yeah, there's, there's the uh, fun in that. And I have not dilated anymore. <laughs> oh, that's good. Check me, so that wasn't that anymore. And I think space is stable. But right now we're just going. Oh, he also did a culture down there to see if I got a group beach trip or whatever and other stuff. Because we were supposed to do it before, but my dog had kind of decided he's going to take a plunge off of his dog. That's what he did. He fell off his dog and broke his collarbone. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's, that's another update. Uh, our, uh, our main doctor broke his collarbone. Not, I didn't know why until just now. So. <laughs> I just thought about it. I so, about it. so we're uh, seeing the backup doctor. And then he said he can't deliver the baby, so. We have to doctor Miller said he can't deliver the baby. The way it sounds like he's not going to be able to. He said he went to a team of doctors who have a cardiologist, an OBGYN, a special baby doctor. Um, but at least a whole team of doctors, basically. You just couldn't make this simple, could you, babe? <laughs> Had to make it complicated. It's not my fault! You should go be a politician, babe. <laughs> it's not my fault. Sorry I'm leaning back so far, my back is killing me right now. I'm so uncomfortable. She's, she's uh, been saying terrible to just like kicking her spine. Well, the doctor said, <laughs> the doctor said that she's <laughs> sitting like, basically she's on her knees. Oh, so she's kneeing and she ain't kicking her. No. Her ass is up in the air. Okay, so hey, she's hey, like bro. on all fours. She joined a video. There's a Bobo. I don't think she's been in a video since, uh, since we moved into I don't know. She's been prowling around. So. But no, I know Whiskey was in the last one. She came and like, just flopped in front of the, the, the camera. Yeah. She's like, no, the all, doctor, all Whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> the doctor said the way she's positioned right now, her head is down, but right now you got her back on my stomach here. So, this is all her back, and then her knees are on my spine. So she's like on, like this, basically. Oh, wow. So she's on all fours. So when she moves, she just like straight up shows that knee into your spine, huh? <laughs> Here, <Yeah>. Mom! <laughs> How's that feel? <laughs> and the doctor to try to get her to move so he can do the swabs. And she didn't want to move because she was literally pressed my stomach up and he needed me to relax. Well, I couldn't relax if she's doing that. Because all he needed to do was just. So, go is the baby's heart rate okay? Mm hmm. And he only needed to go on a little ways in, but when mommy's tense, you can't put the swab in there. He says, Come on, baby. Relax so mommy can relax. And it was like, screw you. But so far, baby's doing great. Just mommy's kind of having issues. That's good. Is, is Turtle doing good? Yeah. And the doctor asked me if I was planning on having other kids, and I was like, let's just see how we do with this one. Right now, it's kind of a scary ride. If it's true, let's see how this one goes. So now we got the good diaper bag packed, well, repacked, our bags packed, and then get an extra bag packed in case we stay longer. Uh, I'll only be able to stay there for three days. That's yeah, a good thing they're doing it on Thursday, so if you are there only two days. Well, you said you go to C section, so my sister's only there in two days and she can go to C section. But he so said that. Back Hopefully, by, by the time I have to go to school, I can 
can't really miss class without yeah. getting serious, serious points to docs. Well, you said the wait sounds like from the doctor. If I deliver, I'll be there two or three days tops. What you said that? Like only if you go through a grade, you don't have a you know, episode or any problems. So I guess we'll see. So far, I haven't had any more episodes, so. Cross your fingers. I think that's about it. Basically, we play the waiting game. Alright, well, we love you guys and we'll keep you guys posted. Alright, peace out, everybody. Bye.